A game that speaks for itself in so many ways. A stadium bursting at the seams with excitement and two terrific teams ready to give it everything in their quest for glory. The kind of match that's impossible to take your eyes off even for a brief second. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from London here on EA TV. And this is the scene here at the Emirates Stadium in North London, and I'm delighted to be able to report that it's a perfect day weather-wise. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Arsenal facing Everton. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Oh, managing to beat him. It's there for him, and he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Let's see about the delivery. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Oh, super piece of play. Oh, good work by the keeper. And he's fired over the corner. And no problem. Touched onto the woodwork. Not in the accuracy department, leaving a bit to be desired. Well, we can say it officially now. We'll be watching the champions today. The title secured in the last match. What a terrific position to be in, Stuart. Well, they can certainly enjoy this one, Derek. What a great season they've had. They've been the best team in the league. No doubt about that for me. Now the counter-attack looks on. Oh, good vision. Chance to cross. And he's got to clear his lines. Kimi, well read to ease the pressure. James Tarkovsky. Room to roam here for Everton. Had to wait for the support to arrive. And played in. Cross towards that far post. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Well, he's got to make some changes now just to get his side back in this game. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Hakimi. Now what can they do from here? Takes aim. And the post getting in the way. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match is level again. Well, just look at this. He's so bright in the box. He's first to the ball and then a decent finish. It's a good bit of play.
So back underway. They've leveled it at 1 1 here. Azon. Orsolini. James Garner. Promising looking attack from Everton. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Leal. To take the lead. And a goal! Another one! Two in quick succession. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. And Everton get the ball rolling once more. Let's find out how they're going to react to the setback. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Good ball over the top. Well, that's going to be all for the first half here at the home of Arsenal. But he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly the difference between the two sides. Obviously the goals, but his movement too. He's causing the back line all sorts of headaches. He'll no doubt be desperate to grab the hat-trick now. Arsenal with the lead going into the second half, but no room for complacency. Well, someone has scored in the United game. Let's find out precisely who. Alex Scott has the news. It's a goal for Fulham. The ball was pulled back from the goal line. He got over it well and was able to keep his shot down. It was a great goal. They've pulled one back with 48 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Decent position. Well, he really read that brilliantly. More live football to come. A little note about a future game with us here on EA TV. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that stadium and two very good teams. That's a good-looking shot. Well, I gave him the big build-up, but the keeper has it comfortably. No mistake by the keeper. Hakimi. Well, sitting deep and just trying to form a really coherent block and played the pass well. Tremendously strong in the tackle. And space for Everton in the wide position. Chance to equalise. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV, and looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's Everton facing Nottingham Forest. Spot on for that available. tackle. Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain, no one is leaving. Genuine chance, and a goal to level it up late on here. Just look at the reaction. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal.
Well, disappointment, anger, frustration, whatever is going through his mind, he needs... to get his team going again here. So underway again at two all. Lee. Gvardiol. Well, high marks for that pass. Arsenal remain on the front foot. Can they find a winning goal? Rice. Well, he hit it with authority. Close. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. And there we have it. The final whistle is blown by the referee and a draw for Arsenal, a share of the spoils. How would you assess it? Well, Derek, they are normally the better team, but that wasn't the case today because it was a below par display and they just have to switch their focus to the next match now. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Yeah, he played well, didn't he? So clinical in front of goal, but you have to feel for him. We didn't quite get the same quality from his teammates today, particularly at the back. Can we ask you a question? No further questions, thank you.